everyone welcome back to my channel this is Dwight say hello he's gonna be in here with me today probably gonna make me have to stop and probably a lot of fun bloopers in today's video hi all right in today's video I'm gonna teach you guys how to make hair paper or paper hair whichever one you want to say it and the reason I'm making this video is because I could not find this video on YouTube and I just built an entire collection made out of hair paper and I had to ask a friend and she was amazing and she taught me how to do it and I thought I would relay that information and there were lots of mistakes made there were wrong products used and I kind of wanted to cut out all that bad stuff and let you guys know what I learned over this process. So stick around if you're interested to learn how to make hair paper. I wanted to show you what hair paper was. I didn't, wasn't really like super specific on what it was. So this is a piece of hair paper. And all it is is hair that is pulled apart or leftover extensions that I have glued together with heat and um, spray adhesive. But it's tricky. So this is actually not synthetic hair, this is real hair. And I'm gonna recommend you use synthetic hair. These are some leftover pieces of synthetic hair paper. These tend to mold onto your subject a lot better than the real hair paper will. And I'll show you really quickly an example of that. So I'm just going to put the hair paper on the mannequin head and take a blow dryer and heat it up and you'll see how quickly it kind of molds to the mannequin. And I would suggest using low heat. And done, boom, hair piece made. And it stays its shape too, which is really nice. However, with the real hair, even though it looks prettier and it definitely has its place it does not mold the way that synthetic hair molds and i'll show you you'll see that it doesn't mold to the scalp the same way like the other one does instantly and it doesn't hold its shape it's already kind of bouncing back and this will flatten almost immediately so real hair paper is good for if you're one of you like really pretty colors but if you're looking for more avant-garde I would suggest using synthetic hair so Dwight lasted like literally two minutes and he peed and he's kicked him out I kicked the little baby out to make hair paper we just talked about why I suggest using synthetic hair versus real hair um, like I said it's a cre it's a creative choice um, I the woman who taught me how to make it she suggested me using synthetic hair and I had so much real hair laying around that I was like oh I'll just use the real hair and it just would not mold the way that I wanted it to so I ended up going and getting synthetic hair I ordered all of this online so this is what I'm going to use today this is just bright yellow synthetic hair it's what I made this with it's pretty cheap it's like $11.99 for three bundles of this a blow dryer you need a spray adhesive this is the spray adhesive I bought first and it didn't work I ended up buying this spray adhesive here on Amazon that worked way better but since I could not get that in time to make this video I am gonna use this today this will work just know when you get the spray adhesive make sure you get the Elmer's glue spray adhesive that's the best one it is foolproof this is one that my husband got at uh, like Lowe's. It works too, it's just a little too intense. This is a messy process in general, so make sure that you're doing it either outside or in like an open air area because the smell of the spray adhesive is really intense. I'm gonna be using a um, hairspray. The hairspray isn't 100% necessary, but why I like to use it is because, and you'll see in the video when I show you how to do it, the hair kind of goes everywhere and the hairspray helps stick keep those fibers together so you can blow dry it easily onto the wax paper and then your wax paper that you're putting it on so this is what's going to be the base of your hair paper this is going to be underneath of it you have to get the unbleached wax paper 
or it will not come off of the wax paper. So I bought this on Amazon and it is 100% soybean wax, totally chlorine free. It has to be the unbleached wax paper. So make sure you're getting that. That's another mistake that I made. Other than that, that's all you need, just those few tools. And I know, like I said, everybody does it a little bit differently, but I have found that this is the quickest way to do it with a blow dryer, a spray adhesive, a hairspray, and wax paper. So what I like about the synthetic hair too is you can get it in all manner of colors and the color doesn't seep or go away. What I noticed on the real hair was because it was colored with vivids, the colors got a little muddled with the wetness of the spray adhesive and the hairspray. So you also have to think about that as well. So what I like to do is I like to take just little bits of hair, just like that, off of the bundle of synthetic hair. Set that aside. Take my spray adhesive and spray the wax paper first. So the whole wax paper is covered. And then I take my synthetic hair and I pull it apart. So it's nice and separated. And then I lay it on that spray adhesive. Once that's laid down, I take my blow dryer. And make sure that that is nice and dry. And then I'm gonna spray some more spray adhesive over top of that layer. Now I'm gonna take my hairspray and I'm gonna alternate between spray adhesive and hairspray. And the longer you spray adhesive and, and blow dry, the flatter and smoother that will become. And I always let it dry overnight. And the next day I can peel it off or just leave it on the wax paper until I need it for the shoot or whenever I'm using it to build what I need. All right guys, and that's it. And this is kind of what it'll look like when you heat it up and put it on a mannequin and go to build anything. So that is hair paper. I know there are some people who use a um, iron to kind of quicken the process or flatten the hair paper. Um, I personally love things to be a little wild, so I kind of like the more wild look of it just kind of laid down on wax paper and using that heat from the blow dryer to flatten it. So you could use an iron with wax paper too instead of the blow dryer. But I will link all of the things down below that I use that I found that were the best products in this process. Um, let me know if you guys like these kind of avant-garde style tips and how-tos. I have learned so much over the years from so many amazing people and now I just kind of want to share that knowledge with other people because I know that when, you know, when you're wanting to create something and you don't know how to do it, it's so nice to have something that you can go and refer to. So I hope this was helpful. You guys can find me at Blush in Maine on Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter and all the things. Make sure you go like and comment and subscribe to this channel before you head out. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Going to... I'm, he's already chewing on something, already. <laughs> you guys can find me on Instagram, Facebook, 